Hold it! Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Hmm, I suppose that would be around... Hey, what time was it? Huh? Um, I, I think it was around, I'd say, a bit after 10.30, I think. Practice ended at 10, so you hung around the lodge house the entire time? I, I, I guess that sounds about right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, uh, the truth is... Will you shut up, you big-nosed dope? Why are you telling him everything extra? Anything extra? Why can't you believe that we'd just stand out in the wet that weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone. What? Who? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ugh. Well, what? Who said we were waiting for someone? Mr. Phoenix Wright, we can all do without your off-handed theories. OBJECTION! But this witness! He's cracking under the pressure already! I'm onto something! Hmm, Mr. Wright! Who do you suppose the witness was waiting out for in the cold that night? Hmm. That's an easy one. Um, profiles... We're doing a lot of profiles this, this, ca this case. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. What? You were waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Is this true? Well, I, um, you can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it. Well, well, well. The puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Eh? Alright. There is obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. He spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Ah! That makes perfect sense! What did you just say? The witness saw the defendant at the scene of crime. OBJECTION! However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone else other than Max heading to- OW! There is absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um, I guess you got me. All right, all right, I'll spill the beans for real this time. It's true I was waiting for Regina. Pain? Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quist, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Were you or were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance to the lodging house? I was. I was waiting to propose to her. You are what? Waiting to propose? What's the matter? You think that humans have the monopoly on marriage? That the matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case. You're the judge. I mean, look at your horrible outfit. More pain. Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so anymore. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. Alright, about the proposal. Don't be so surprised, I was going to propose to Regina. I even had something to give to her. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Hmm. You are going to propose, you a puppet. Don't be so obtuse! You Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love! I guess you're right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her, too. Exactly! 
His honor is looking a little less than honorable right now. Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with your examination. <sighs> Aw, did you hear that? His size seemed a little wistful. <laughs> Silly judge. Hmm. Well, there's a lie to this, and it should be very simple to figure out. Wasn't there something that we got the other, uh, month? <laughs> this, to be specific, if you look at it. From T to R. How is it in his pocket if we have it? OBJECTION! Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. Um, I thought... Wait. That's what I... You don't sound very sure. Objection denied. Ow! What the hell, man? I think that one points with the judge. Huh. Okay, well that, um... Yeah, I messed up bad there. I'm thinking too far ahead. This is the one, we gotta press it. Man, I can't believe I screwed that up. What was it exactly that you planned on giving her? You weren't exactly what I was gonna give her, numbskull! The only thing I could find that could match Regina's beauty! Answer his question! What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this! It's an engagement ring! An engagement ring? Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs! Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far! Time for this to end right here. Francisca's whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for sure. Hmm. It may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment. The first time that a puppet has ever proposed to a human- OW! I advise you to cut this argument short! I'm going to have to agree with the defense here. Will the witness please revise their testimony? Specifically about the engagement ring. I'd like to stick to facts, not psychology. Sociology. Sure, you sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. There we go. Now we can do it. Um, present. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure this is where we do it. OBJECTION! There we go. Bar went away. Trillo, do you have- do you mind if I show you something? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Looks like they're going to double-team me now. Do you recognize this ring? Ah! That's- that's- that's mine! Give it back! Thief! Thief! Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said, in the end, I wasn't able to give it to her. Teehee. So I've still got it in my pocket. Why then do I have it right here? Ah! <laughs> what is going on here? Th th that's, that's... Ben, say something! Eh, don't, don't put me on the spot like that, Trello. I found this in Money's room. M -m money's room? You mean a room they put money? Like a bank vault? Ha! That filthy monkey is gonna get what's coming to him! 
Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you avoided slandering innocent f fiats in my court. Well, Your Honor, money really is a monkey. In every sense of the word. Ah, I see! Well then, money likes to go after the shiniest things that he can find and gathers them up. Shiny things? Trillo! When was this ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was that time, you know, that night, the night of the crime. What did you just say? Details! I need more details! Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. Right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, um, I guess you might, um, be able to say that the ring might have, well, I, it could have been taken, been taken around that time. Ooh, ah! Ah, yellow! Ben! What's up with you? Oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not who, it, who committed the murder. It's not for you to decide what has to do with what. Now, Trillo, back to the topic at hand. I haven't admitted to a thing! Not I, Mr. Trillo Quist! What did you do when the ring was taken, Trillo? You know exactly what I did! I chased after that ring-snatching monkey money! But you weren't... But you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all this slow, loafy fools called Ben's fault! While he was fumbling his way through the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away! That is indeed incredibly... an incredible shame. Well, this does indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point? What point could that possibly be? What point does it... Ben's testimony has a flaw. There is a huge contradiction in the witness's testimony. C contradiction? The witness just testified to following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness just stated that he chased after Money the Monkey. When the witness was off chasing Money, there was no one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of all that, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with that little theory of yours? I'm saying that there is no possible way that the witness saw the plaza the entire time. That's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to my next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Well, then tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this vigilant ventriloquist? OBJECTION! Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying! He is blinded by his rivalry with Max! Well, the defense argument does hold water. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you! I wouldn't lie just to get the dark face in trouble. He's not even worth it! I saw him! No doubt about it! I saw that worthless liar! Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flush out exactly who you saw that night. Ha! I've told you so many times, you'd think that you know my story's not changing! You've already changed your story, slick boy, and I'm sure it will change some more. Where there is a one lie, there are usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah! Witnessing Max. I'll give you that, I was waiting for the, that night for Regina, but that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. 
I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. Max, I saw Maximilian at the scene. There's no way I could have mistaken someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Hmm. Hmm. So that means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max? That's right, money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Then money snatched the ring, and you went chasing after him? How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see, I'd say about... I, I suppose about five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived on the scene in that five minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. All right. This is a lie. OBJECTION! Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big a deal! It was just an argument, a disagreement at most! A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. Ah! That morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? What? Is that an admission of assault and battery? Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. The truth is that on that day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There is absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial at that, e that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on s on stand. There is no way a puppet this lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. Gwah! Are you saying this witness is lying? That he is trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I I I, I didn't tell a single lie. Honestly, I just. That's enough from you, Mr. Quist! Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? Hmm. He saw a different person. It is my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. W what? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trillo made an effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Ah! Uh, what in the world? You! Will the defense kindly explain who it was Trillo saw that evening? Then, who is it that he saw? Pretty simple, actually. Present. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there is only one person he would greet. It must be Regina! It's Regina, right? She's so cute! No, Your Honor, it's not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, I suppose you got a point there. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? You are correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. Eh. 
The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's why you greeted him, Trillo. Isn't that correct? Well... Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Wah! Order, order! How do you respond to this? Well, wait a second. Well, at first I thought it was the old man, but, but once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. I'm sure. I think it is high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quist obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the ringmaster or one Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? Alright, this is getting old. Come on, man, you've got to remember them by now. Here we go again, everyone all together now! Ow! Yes, yes, we know the silk hat, cloak, and white roses. OBJECTION! A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? Miss Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes! I think we finally won a point in this one. That is very... unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Huh? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, an answer to that question, and evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. How's well, the whisper, whisper, whisper? Very well. The court will take a ten minute recess. During that time, I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. Court is now in recess. Damn, that section took 46 minutes to do. I didn't expect it to take that long. Anyway, I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna stop for now, cause I didn't expect it to be 46 minutes, but at least I got some recording done. Uh, thanks to Gilwin for being Francisca for us, and uh, Lady Gilwin, so th thanks to that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!